Morning, folks. Uh, looks like a horse guard's been turned into a line bike parking station, it looks like. Yeah. I decided to just drop his bike off right in front of the guards. Probably just saw a herd. Yeah, he asked the guard, what's his name for the horse? The guard ignored him. Why? Because he's a complete moron, that's why. It's funny because a lot of people, uh, the, the cyclist that is, not the guard, let me just uh, clarify. A lot of people do come along here, a little bit, etc. I won't mention you know, what he probably had, but let's just say he wasn't entirely compost mentis. Uh, and the guards, uh, being trained soldiers, uh, can spot dickheads a mile away. Hence that guy being completely blanked, completely blanked, when he asked the horse's name. It's funny because I did think for a second uh, he might push the point. Then I was hoping he'd turn to me, to the camera, which is exactly why I switched it on at that moment. It would have been glorious if, uh, if he turned to the camera and said something like, why are you filming me or whatever. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry that we didn't get uh, the money shot I was looking for. Uh, aggressive druggy <laughs> tries to attack YouTuber. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, I wasn't completely sure completely sure I was sort of 95th percentile sure that we'd have any anyone here or that indeed it would be open this morning it is Sunday um, and there was a bit of confusion about whether the dating um, in terms of the closure was from X to X in other words does it close from that morning or from the end of the day on the stated day of closure I'm glad to tell you all that we're open for business okay so rejoice Everybody that was like, oh, <laughs> we're closing, there's going to be no videos, no cars, no horses for weeks yesterday. I feel your pain, people. I was also a little bit like, oh, <laughs> last night. No, it's okay. Uh, so I thought I'd come down this morning and I thought to myself, hold on, if it is closed this morning, no problem. I'll film something else. But you know what? It's open, so I don't need to. And even more important than that, even more important than that, arguably even more important than that, um, there is a teeny bit of confusion about yesterday's glorious horse. Okay. Uh, it's not... One second. I don't think, anyway, uh, the horse we're looking at now. Actually, wait, maybe... Oh, God, now I'm really confused. No, it's not. Wait, this is... It's, uh, no. I didn't watch my own video yesterday. I can't remember if this is the horse that grabbed the child's toy. Um, bah. I can tell you one thing, though. The, uh, the look-alike... Okay. The exceedingly glorious Q10 lookalike uh, got a name, but and again, this is where it gets complicated. Okay, because even with the number on the hoof, those lists are not easy to uh, to cross reference. Um, direct from the stables, apparently, that horse is Lancelot. Now it's funny because if one thought of a horse that looks sort of vain glorious, uh, that would be pretty much a good horse to. Uh, to name Lancelot, wouldn't it? Really looks the part. You can sort of imagining it, imagine uh, in a, a sort of you know an Arthurian legend type Hollywood movie, dashing through <laughs> lines of troopers uh, on the battlefield, doing their in their armor and stuff. Yeah, definitely that kind of a horse. So Lancelot is the name I was given. Um, however, there was a caveat. Uh, caveat emptor. He's not a hundred percent sure. Okay, that's <laughs> somebody that spends all day every day with the horses at Hyde Park and even he's not 100% sure that it's Lancelot he's pretty sure he said he thinks they'll say that's Lancelot yeah even though I had LG12 guys from the hoof um, actually wait thinking about it hold on let me zoom in it's me thinking I'm pretty sure this is not the same horse we saw yesterday oh gee this is 55 it looks like 55 is that 55 or 56 I can't quite see take my glasses off can't make it out guys with the 55 or 56 but you can see LG on the left hoof so this is not the horse we had here yesterday now I'm wondering if because that horse had a little chew of the toy uh, he was put on naughty boy duty in the stables um, next to Indigo um, I know that yesterday and a lot of you heard it in the uh, in the conversation yesterday the trooper told me very kindly told me uh, that Q sorry, Q the Indigo would not be back out 
yesterday, and indeed he wasn't back out yesterday. I wasn't here until the end of the day, but I was here for quite a while yesterday. Uh, my friends were here longer, and no, 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 in the go. Here we are, but we do have folks, very happy tourists. Look, they forgot their gloves uh, and hats. A lot of them forgot their scarves, but, and this is a key thing, those things are not important compared to an umbrella, guys. That's right. Yep, that's the thing that we really need this morning. <laughs> You've got a spare hand to give me that. <laughs> hey, got to be done, got to cover up. Look at you, super fine as always. Great stuff. Ah, yeah, you see, if I was as well prepared, it would be at the ready. That's a lifeguard themed umbrella. Yeah. It's the same colour as the lifeguards. <laughs> that's not, an, that's not yeah. an accident. You bought that from the, the guard shop, didn't you? I know you did. Okay, people, so the good news is that we're open. The bad news is that, would you believe, um, it's raining. Yeah, it is raining. Not super heavily. Uh, my umbrella is at the ready, just in case. But, yeah, that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Wait, let's have a, a wander out. Uh, I said wander out, a wander in, a wander through. Uh, and see what the back is looking like. I'm still optimistic, actually, that it could potentially be a fairly interesting morning, uh, despite the horrid weather. Okay, Gatesman, way back, doesn't want to get his boots uh, dirty. Why? Because he's going home today to Hyde Park, and more importantly, he will not be back for weeks. And the Chitsman. Super. Okay, so the gate's still closed. Zooming it in the centre. Lots of Frenchies actually on the bus this morning. Uh, they were talking about. <laughs> I tried not to laugh actually, I must admit. Uh, they were talking about uh, the gods at uh, the palace. They were going to the palace. Love the way they say that. Yep, the palace. It's not le palais or the palace, it's the, like Z E, or Z Z E H, the uh, palace, the palace. Yeah. Okay, so as usual, Thames water dug a hole and then vanished. Um, that's quite normal here in the UK. If it's not Thames water, it'll be the gas company. They come along, dig up part of the street, uh, have some tea, have a look at the hole that they dug, have some more tea, uh, then discussion about the hole and what to do next, then have some more tea, uh, and then finally they have some tea before they go home. A couple of weeks later, sometimes a couple of months later, a couple of guys turn up. Oh, damn it, we forgot about this hole. They fill it up fill the local authority x thousand quid let shareholders get paid everyone's happy except the tax-paying public that's the way it works here with the public utilities in other words uh, it doesn't actually really work see so back into the tunnel and i'm not walking towards the palace is the tunnel oh, that's pretty smart in fact i never thought about actually using my umbrella in the tunnel to stay dry just in case there was uh, the raindrops dropping from the ceiling in the tunnel. Ordinarily, the roof of the tunnel should protect against rain. Now, the good thing is that it's not uh, supposed to, not forecast, to pour down, okay? It is going to be a rather grim morning. There is zero possibility, everybody, and I mean quite literally mean zero, zero, even minus flipping possibility of us actually getting any sunshine today, okay? It's not, it's not forecast. Yep, no snow, uh, no sun is forecast at all today. However, it's also equally not forecast to pour with rain. Uh, the actual forecast is around five, six degrees light rain showers. So the umbrella's in my hand, although it's not actually yet open. And I hope that I won't need to open it. But we are here on the last day. Second, folks. These happy tourists here with the horse. <laughs> yeah, maybe he does. Loving how good a uh, judge of character this guard is. How he blinked that, uh, that chav on the line bike. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> mm. 
more happy uh, tourists. C'est super. It doesn't pour. Um, it'll be pretty much a glorious final day here at Horse Guards. Um, I have no idea, folks, how long I'll be staying today. We'll see. Oh, look at that. That's a lovely blue hat. And pink shoes, in fact, as well. Super. <laughs> Enthusiasm is, uh, is infectious, eh? Some people are so happy. You can tell it's uh, made their day, potentially even made their, their entire trip. Uh, for anyone curious, yes, you can see uh, riders on horseback in Roma, uh, according to a lovely Italian lady we spoke to a few days ago. However, they are carabinieri, they're not soldiers. Uh, the nearest we get to this, from my researches and discussions, uh, would be in Stockholm, would you believe? They actually have a mounting, a dismounting of the Royal Guard in Stockholm. Now, am I going to go to Stockholm and film it? some point of course I am it's got to be done folks gosh tall groups are turning up again you can already probably hear the uh, the clown with the PA system to my right he's the one I had a mini argument with I think it was last week or the week before about his stupidly loud PA system Now, after what we saw uh, on Friday with Naughty Indigo, I say, I say Naughty guys, I've, I've never blamed Indigo for the incident. I call any horse that, you know, sort of doesn't want to work or bites someone or nips someone, I always call them Naughty. Uh, it's not me criticizing the horse. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the horses can do no wrong. Sign makes it clear. But Naughty Indigo, uh, yes, he nipped, uh, I went to nip the lady and she, she tripped and fell. Yesterday, of course, we had another incident. It's, it's remarkable how there could be another incident the day after the first incident with the, uh, the child that had that little thing in her pocket. Of course, saw it, went for it, tried to chew it, realized it wasn't edible, spat it out. But that was the first time I've actually personally seen the guard look you know, genuinely concerned. Okay, His facial expression and his body language as he went forward to check the horse you could tell he was concerned uh, and to be honest so were a lot of us because that, that you know I don't know if it was a loom bad thing some kind of plastic toy that would not have been digestible and the horse it being in two pieces could easily easily have choked on it god forbid but could you really imagine the, the panic here guys if uh, if a horse started to choke on something that it had uh, you know had tried to devour from a tourist absolute nightmare plus I have no idea where that would um leave the tourists legally. You know, I don't know if there are any sort of ancient statutes that say, hey, blah, 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 you know, if you, you know, damage, destroy, harm, kill the king's horse, this or that uh, is the penalty. I don't know. I dare say there's something, guys, right, in uh, the medieval statutes that says you're not allowed to harm uh, a king's horse, same as uh, there were statutes about, you know, killing a king's deer. I think actually those statutes still exist. I seem to remember people have been prosecuted relatively recently, uh, i.e. this century, uh, for killing deers on the royal estate. Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, the guard is, uh, is quite a speedy fellow today. Uh, it's not that speedy fellow because it's the other regiment, he's a blues. But this speedy fellow, here look, he's like he's on rails, look at this, zooming it. Zoomaroo. Brilliant. I like it when they walk fast because uh, it doesn't give people the opportunity to uh, to move out of the way. A few smiles are like, hey, guess what? What? We're going home after today. And we've got no more ceremonial guard duty for weeks. It's like, yes, brilliant. I'm so happy. And you know what? I agree with them. Why do I agree with them? Because they have had one hell of a year. Okay. 
the coronation, the state opening of Parliament, trooping the colour. Not to mention the two uh, the summer extravaganzas, Auburn Scepter, they were called. Yeah, I went to those as well. Auburn Scepter, it was just it, relentless. They would have had more work actually this year uh, in terms of formal state occasions than at any time that I can think of since probably 1953. Huge amount of work, not forgetting, for example, uh, other. I don't want to downplay it, but more minor affairs, not of state, uh, but of, uh, of greeting foreign dignitaries like the visit of the South Korean president. So they, uh, they have had a hell of a year, the household cavalry this year. And thinking back to HCAV day, um, my, 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 it's gone by fast, hasn't it? <laughs> I forget how many times I've seen them uh, in full ceremony or an event this year. Very busy year. No wonder uh, Channel 5 picked up on that. For their documentary. I haven't actually watched all the parts yet. I watched a bit of part one, but I wanted to wait till the series had finished to watch all of it. Instantly, guys, I'm trying to think of a way. A lot of you have mentioned, I've noticed in comments, that you can't see or haven't been able to watch it because you're abroad. You can't see British TV programs. I've got, so far, the first three episodes in full. Okay? Um, they're caps by scene groups. So, uh, how to say, not, like a, not quite torrents, but to peer, uh, peer to peer so I've got perfect 1080p high defin en definition encodes of those three episodes now the problem is folks how do I share it with you I can't upload them to YouTube because I'll get a copyright strike if I put them on TikTok I need to cut each of the episodes into 10 minute segments which will be a bit annoying because you need to look around to find all the parts uh, so I'm trying to think of a way to help you guys to watch those programs yeah very high quality, even if I've only seen a bit of episode one, very, very high quality production, which considering Channel 5 is known for poor quality productions and general rubbish, was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, I thought they'd massacre it, but they actually did pretty well, to their credit. Way to go Channel 5. Lots of happy folks here this morning, eh? So many. Well, that's a family shot and a half. Amazing. That was a really good picture they got. Good stuff, folks. I'm hoping after the changeover um, to see the horse that remained nameless yesterday, folks. Uh, I have to re crop the name if we do see that horse. I'm not going to speculate until he's out, but I'm pretty sure we'll see. <laughs> Uh, that he will be out. I said the one at the other end that the other guard is on um, was not here to the best of my knowledge yesterday unless he was out in the afternoon so I'm really hoping they haven't swapped over yet another cheeky horse. having a lot of fun today, aren't they? You can see this. And the fluffy horse seems pretty happy as well. Okay, let's have a look at the clock. What time is it? It is 10 minutes to, folks. So we really don't have uh, a long wait. Now, in terms of an inspection this morning, I honestly have no clue. My money would be on them skipping the inspection uh, for two reasons. One, 
that central gate is locked at the end of the tunnel. Two, uh, it's a pretty dire morning. And three, one second, everyone, trying to get a good spot. And three, perhaps the most important of all, um, I'm not seeing as many police officers as I, as I would expect uh, if there were going to be an inspection, unless they all appear just before 11, in which case we'll know, but at the moment there are nowhere near enough officers for for the morning inspection. There are typically six. At the moment I'm only seeing two. It's a wonder actually though how the horses bring everyone together. It doesn't matter where you're from, all of the stuff like religion and politics gets left at the door, just about the horses. If only the entire world were uh, so straightforward folks, so it'd be a much happier place. God, that was here yesterday. Um, I recognise him obviously from the little incident with the child's toy. But as mentioned, he has a new mount today, and I don't know which horse this is. I actually cannot remember at all if it's the same horse we saw yesterday. a bit wonky for a second. It's moving a very heavy glove. It's prohibiting it. Being fluent. There we are. That's it. Done. To get ready. One, two, three. I wrap my hands up a bit too much today in two layers of gloves and that realises being outside it's not, not actually necessary. It's not super freezing. Mildly humid actually because of the, uh, the moisture. A lot of people here as well, but for the moment they're not getting right in front. I'm not sure why. You can hear them behind me. If I think there will be an inspection, um, I'll make sure I'm in the right place for the captain to come out. It might be a sort of mini inspection this morning in the sense that we'll have a very quick look at the horses and go back in. We certainly won't have the sh full shebang out the back. Pretty much sure of that. It's Monday morning level of traffic as well here on Whitehall, and it's Sunday. I have no idea what that's about, really. <laughs> Notice the difference between yesterday when almost everybody had a woolly hat, glove, a scarf, etc. It's still cold, folks, um, but we're not bobbing around freezing, which is problematic because one never knows how to dress properly uh, to make sure you don't overheat, but at the same time, you don't end up getting a cold. Because one thing you do notice in London these days, in fact, for most of the past week, is just how many people. Uh, are coughing, sneezing, spluttering, etc. Hell of a lot, actually. Where have you been hiding? Everyone's like, where's he gone? Is he retired or where is he? All good? Kind of, yeah. I was hoping you'd be here today. I mean, it's the last day to do it. You can't, you can't miss it. I think some people thought it closed yesterday. <laughs> but, yeah. I'll stay vibes. Oops. Folks, I just found a missing YouTuber. Uh, I've been looking for him everywhere. I went to his house, I went to his sister's, I went to his cousin's, I knocked on everyone's door. 
couldn't find him. He just vanished. And we were concerned, but he's back and all is well. Today's primary language actually is not uh, Francais, everybody. It's uh, Espanol. Okay, minions in the house, guys. Oh, actually, that's pretty soon. French minions, yeah, French. <laughs> that was actually super cute. Well done, parents. They got a super picture as well, to be honest. People are getting super pictures this morning. Notice how much better it is, the atmosphere, when it's not completely rammed. People are almost in desperation, pushing and shoving uh, to get to the front of the horse to get, you know, the money shot or a good video. So much, so much better when it's like this. Oh, ho, the magic trooper. They've got the box. Oh, his mum to those uh, three cute French minions. I think they got the picture of the week, actually. Oh, some toys uh, behind the horse. I'm not sure why anyone would want a picture of the horse's bum, uh, but hey, takes all sorts, I guess. All kinds of. Uh... <laughs> uh, let's not go there. But anyway, yeah, odd. Instead of walking around to the front of the box uh, and getting a picture of the guard's face. seen this many people guys since uh, I went to the opening of Pizza Express <laughs> many years ago <laughs> yeah that's right simple taste for me no Michelin five star I'm happy with uh, Michelin minus five star a hey, Burger King or uh, KFC Luckily, mercifully, temporarily, uh, the rain has completely stopped. We haven't got any drippy drip drip drips. Let's hope it stays like that. Just families with kids and stuff, you know, enjoying the fact they've got a bit of space. Push chairs, prams. Um, in fact, sort of addendum is what I was saying yesterday. I think it was yesterday, the day before, about uh, disabled access to horse guards. Um, a lot of you have mentioned, both in the comments and also in, explicitly in questions, uh, what is access like for, for those with uh, a wheelchair, some sort of mobility vehicle? Here, when you actually get here, not bad at all. Westminster Station has mentioned step-free access. But, and this is one thing I would definitely say, absolutely whatever you do, avoid the peak, okay? People always move out of the way for somebody that needs the space for their wheelchair or whatever. But it's just, you, you see from yesterday's video how ridiculously, impossibly chaotic it was for somebody like myself, able-bodied, tall guy, very fit. And I, even I had problems getting around. It was completely ridiculous. Oops. And... Oops. <laughs> oh, little, uh, little Spanish tourist there. Naughty Spanish tourists. I haven't seen a, a Spanish uh, a Spanish person looking that bashful since Battle of Trafalgar. Okay, one horse inside. Look, he's not in the mood at all. Look at this. All over the place look spinning around I'm spinning around move out of my way now, is he going to settle doesn't look like it look he's all over the place this horse let's see what happens when he gets to the box he's not a happy chappy this horsey look He's like, no, I don't want to work. And the key thing is, is he going to come peacefully into the box? 
Okay, this fuzzy beauty's off. Oh no, look at this. Now hold on, hold on, hold on everyone. This is the one that we saw yesterday. I'm convinced it is. When I was saying, you know, young horse. Looking at, and that's it, there's a slight mark isn't there, under the right eye. God, now, I can, now I'm confused. It's impossible to figure out which horse is which with life gods, other than Pagan uh, and Indigo. They're so incredibly similar, with, with the, the most subtle of differences. They're equally beautiful, but very, very, very subtle differences. Oh, that was very nice. So good morning to the guard. It was a very clean changeover, actually, despite the horse getting a little bit flustered when he first came out. Probably didn't like coming out of the dark stable into the into the light. It isn't bright sunshine today, but it's obviously a lot brighter than the stable area. But I think, I think, I think, based on the legs, lack of socks, uh, that this is the horse that I mistakenly thought might have been Q10 yesterday. Looks really, really similar. If not, they're all the same. Anyway, if that is the horse, guys, we're pretty sure myself and uh, a couple of the guys at the stables that it's Lance a lot. Actually, do. Why am I so simple sometimes? LG12 was the horse yesterday. Which horse is this? Wait. It's not the same horse, folks. It's LG73. Sorry, I should have realised that before I started commenting on it. Yeah, so let's see if LG12 is back out again. We've got LG73 here. Hey boss, not hey. early? Yeah, uh, hey, gotta be done though. Last I thought to three. myself, I've got two options. When I can either get up early, go to church like a good boy, or I can come here and film the horses. Yeah, but good. as I don't go to church, I decided to come in. <laughs> it's good this morning, everyone's pretty chill. There's like families and kids and stuff. No, no bad stuff, which is good for a change. Yes, yep, yep, today. I wasn't even sure that they would be open this morning. It was a 50-50 because it says it closed from the 3rd, yeah. which is today. But no, of course. I see you on the line. But the I line. saw yesterday on something that said it closing on the 3rd. And I'm thinking, hold on, which is it, 3rd or 4th? So I thought I'll pop out, have a look, and if there's no one here, go somewhere else. Right. But yeah, definitely uh, it today. LG73 everybody, uh, no idea at all which horse this is. Let's have a quick look at the other end though because it's possible that one of yesterday's horses is out, the cyclist, is out but is at the other end, it's starting to rain again. Grrr. Nope, this, oh actually wait, hold on a second. No, I'm pretty sure this is not LG73 either. Wait, 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 wait. Let's have a quick look at those hooves. Pull out the, uh, the number. One second. This is where I've got references in future. I will try and zoom in on all the uh, all of the horses. This is LG80, or it looks like 80 to me. That's going to be the best way to slowly build up that list, and it's something, everybody, that I will work on. I promise. Uh, by looking through previous videos, I will start to make a more comprehensive list, uh, and then after Christmas and the New Year when we reopen um, I will start to match the horses myself manually the ones that we know obviously to start with with the hoof numbers that way uh, we will be the only channel or I will be the only channel uh, and you lovely viewers will be the only people that <clears throat> know 100% each time I mention a horse name um, it'll be the real deal because I'll cross reference it with those those numbers Now we've got quite a flood coming out this morning, which is a bit surprising for a Sunday. Especially a Sunday when uh, typically, if the weather's atrocious, a lot of people don't bother. And bear in mind we've still got that central gate closed at the back. Now, which end is going to be the sensible end this morning? I've got no idea, folks. And uh, now we know that LG12 isn't out. Uh, obviously Indigo will not be back out. It's, it's, a, it's literally a 50-50. I think I'll try and divide the time equally between the two horses today. That'll be the smart move. 
After 11, as I mentioned before, no morning inspection. Uh, that was expected for multiple reasons. However, uh, I'm more concerned about the weather right now. Umbrellas at the ready if needed. To dampen tourist spirits, ideally. Everyone's in such a good morning, this, uh, mood this morning. Very optimistic vibe in the air. I guess, you know, we're firmly on the road to Christmas now, three weeks, so not really surprising. Oh, hold on, this one's a bit of a sniffy, sniffy little nipper. <laughs> also a distinctive one, this one, look, both of the right uh, feet have little cute socks. Very curious. Look. Oh, you just slathered all over her arm. <laughs> she did <laughs> I just realised. <laughs> Cover with slather. Sophia on the other side. Sophia, say cheers. Sophia, Sophia. Yeah, yes, look at me. Say cheers. One, two, three, cheers. All right. Bye -bye to the <laughs> <laughs> push him into the box. Push him behind him into the box and uh, then munch him quietly in the corner. <laughs> Very inquisitive, this horse. Maybe a teeny bit, get that a little bit closer. There we are. Every single smiley person with a, a bobble hat, uh, or any hat for that matter, going up to the horse uh, inherently makes me a little nervous after what we, what we saw on Friday. But I think, folks, uh, it's going to be a good day, the final day. I don't think there are going to be any mishaps, is what I'm trying to say. And I actually hope, I genuinely hope that there won't be. Why? Because, you know, we've seen how much fun it could be when, uh, when there were good moments, you know, family members visiting, relatives, partners visiting, new guards coming here for picture opportunities, uh, retired military folk, foreign service personnel, it just, the list is endless, it goes on and on, on. It's funny because, you know, a lot of people remember back in the, in the summer when we first heard that, you know, muted, mute, uh, muted ban 
on yeah, they were sort of talking about that. They were spreading out the case. The troopers will be muted. They will not be allowed to shout. And for a while, they didn't. A lot of people were like, oh, there's no point in, you know, the, the content is not the same. It's not allowed to shout. It isn't the same. But you know what? That doesn't make it inferior. It just makes it different. And in many ways, it makes it actually more wholesome. And really, I think, from my point of view, I think that's a good thing. I really do. What, he just walked straight to the camera? Just ignore. That's what I do. Just, man, seriously, just ignore. If anyone tries to, to speak to me that's, that I don't know, I just ignore them, it's easier. It's not worth the hassle. Open a book, no? Yeah, I got books. Of, I got classes. Mm. You do. No, no, come on, bro. All of us you know, fundamentally taught ourselves how to do it. So if, if people are asking for info, I've got no problem helping them. But if it's a complete stranger coming over to me saying, "How do I do this?" Like, you know, I, I don't know you. Why would I? Uh... Oh no, no, he's not in there. No, 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 he's not in the group. He won't be added to the group. Don't worry about that. That group is closed. I don't think anyone else will ever be added. Why? Because it's just the original members that are in it. Yeah, yeah exa exactly, exactly, I know. Yeah, some, some people don't get that, they're just a little bit too forward than they expect, which I, I don't like that. I mean, modesty is the key, isn't it? But I know. If you, if you even told me one person without naming them, I would have, I would have known. I know who you are. I know. I've had that as well. Yeah, I don't understand. I like him actually. When I first got here this morning, some kid was on a line bike, some cab, parked the bike right in front of the horse, and he was trying to get that guard, the guard that you know, to give him the name of the horse. The guard just completely blanked him, but he don't exist here, he get lost. <laughs> yeah, he's a good man. Still here, folks. Uh, and I will go back to the horse in a few minutes. Uh, just talking about some slightly unusual characters that have been here this morning. We didn't actually, in fact, they did change over the Chipsman and Gates, but we didn't see them yet. We didn't see the new ones. Let's have a quick look, guys. Yeah, the politics occasionally here is a little awkward. Uh, sometimes some people, how to say this, uh, there are about 10 of us that know each other, have been here for a long time. Uh, sometimes some other people, how to say, they, they come along um, and want to, to, to ask information, but they kind of insist on it. Like, oh, you know, you know the answer because you've been filming here a long time. And none of us have a problem with helping anyone if they're kind and polite and respectful. But some people just turn up expecting that they're just going to you know take the information from us uh, without even you know politely introducing themselves or anything else and that, that's been a problem in the past not because it's some kind of you know niche closed clique it's not anyone is welcome it's a public space uh, space the front that is although the yard isn't um, it's just odd that some people and this is true in any aspect of life guys I'm sure you've all had it at work uh, some people just you know expect something without even being polite enough to ask for it you know, it's that expectation and insistence that, oh, you know, tell me how to do this, tell me how to do that, how do you do it? It's just like, hold on a second. Nobody told me, nobody helped me, and the same with all the other guys. We learned ourselves. We got outside with a camera, we started doing some filming, and boom, off it went, you know? There's, there is no secret recipe for this. I think if, if I had to say the only one thing that is an absolute imperative uh, to be filming at Horse Guards or at Buckingham Palace, enthusiasm you've got to genuinely like the environment 
the reasons that the guards are here, their function, their role, the purpose, and of course the interactions with the tourists. Because that enthusiasm, I think, is the absolute vital ingredient to make the content interesting. Otherwise, it's laborious. It's, it's, I wouldn't bother. If I didn't actually find it enjoyable, I wouldn't be here. Certainly not on a, on a mushy morning like this morning. Now, I've got no idea at all where the guard's going to go when he's finished here. So I'm going to be careful and focus. Focus, focus, focus. Look, just like the tourists are doing. This guy is looking very impatient. He's like, excuse me, sir. I've been waiting here with my child for almost seven and a half seconds. I'm disgusted. Now I'm going to go back to, uh, to the airport. I'm never coming back to the UK again. They're so impolite, they didn't let me take a picture. Yep, that, that <laughs> occasionally is <laughs> entitled to its mentality. Not always, and it's rare, but it does happen. We've seen it many times. I love how serious the ladies behind as well are watching. She's like, wow, look. That's the way to do it. Yeah, look, inquisitive, respectful, giving the god space to do his work. Brilliant. Spot on. That man. And that lady, in fact. If all the parents that visited with their kids were like that lady, the world would be a better place. There's no doubt about that, I can tell you folks. As much as we occasionally get some kids misbehaving, kids are kids. Kids are meant to, meant to misbehave. I'd be very concerned if I had a, a small child that didn't misbehave. It's normal. But it's, uh, it's bad parenting if something goes wrong or you know the kid gets bitten or something else. It means they're not being cautious enough. I really thought you were going to get a picture of the horse then. I was ready for it. <laughs> I can't decide which of the two horses I like more. more. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Which one do I like more? But then if I do like that haircut. Wow. Copper in the house. <laughs> okay, who's up next? Oh, I still have a teeny bit zoomed in. Thinking, why is the horse looking like he's right in front of me? Okay, that's it. Now we zoom right out. Ta-da! Okay, right in the yard we go. Now, I'm pretty sure they did change them over. I only had a peek before, but I did know one of the guards, and... Wait, hold on a second. Have they, I can't even tell if they've changed them over. I'm sure they did. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Actually, they're thinking about it. Hold on. They're doing even hours, aren't they? So that means that they wouldn't have changed over because we're at 11. Sorry, folks. I was thinking it was 12 already. It's 11. So they didn't change over. The next changeover is very, very soon. One second, folks. Damn, this kid is brave. Look, he's got short sleeves. And it's... <laughs> it's, it's okay, it's okay. It's, uh, it's way too cold for short sleeves, but hey, some people are super hardy. <laughs> Some girls do it, you know that. She's uh, she's surprised. That said, a lot of people do think that they do stand in the arches all day. I mean, if they did, that would that would be very hard. I must admit. I Imagine standing here, guys, for six hours without moving. But no, they don't. It's two hours. to use the k-word because uh, a lot of you regular viewers uh, have that k-word as your name um, so what should I say a lot a lot of busybodies um, kind of tourists that want to really what's the word get in it a little bit uh, with some of the other tourists it happens oh they've appeared on this side now 
the hippie family. They're way too close as well. They're standing there gawping without even taking pictures. Idiots. You didn't guess that bit's closed, no? No, I didn't know that actually. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, guys, all the way from Australia? Yes. Uh, all the way from Australia to get, to get shouted at by the King's Guard. I know, really. Oh, uh, <laughs> naughty, naughty. <laughs> That's the first time, people, that have seen that in ages, okay? Um, naughty Australians there, very naughty. I didn't want to put her on the spot and make her feel uncomfortable. She was with her boy. Um, <laughs> you see that straight off, not not having it. God was not having it at all. To be honest though, I did wonder for a second. That wasn't a, some kind of setup, by the way. The, the boy was not filming his mum or vice versa. They, they didn't have their cameras out. That was a genuine mistake. Um, but it was actually quite surprising that they walked in there that casually. <laughs> To be fair, I mean, they just strolled in there like, oh, wait, uh, is that, you know, is this, is this gate 10, terminal 5 Heathrow or whatever? Straight in there. Naughty Aussies. Now we've seen it all, everyone. Yep, naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> wait, where think, oh, I wanted to actually ask them where they're from. Uh oh, seen quite a lot of police this morning on Whitehall. Now, does that mean that Just of Oil are coming along again? Even if they are coming along today, and I don't think that they will, I haven't, to my, to the best of my knowledge, ever seen them here at the weekend. I don't know, let's see. I haven't actually seen the officers in the high vis uh, in the rain getting pitched with the horse either. Yeah, they're cheeky Aussies. I'm still kind of laughing about it because. I'll look at the footage, but it seemed to me they were very, very casual the way they strolled in. I should have said to him, actually, uh, that is not the area where they give out the free fosters. Okay, more people turning up for pictures and so on. One second, everyone. Look. So many happy people, couples and smiley families and people with their kids. As it should be here at the weekend. Okay. Don't really know what the horses are like yet until we get a lot more people going up. Then they sometimes What's the word? They, they get a little bit agitated when there are too many people. But it's interesting because I noticed in the comments yesterday, guys, in the comments from the second video. Now, I know a lot of you don't always want to watch the, you know, the super long version. You're not all worried about every detail that happens. But then some of you are and you love to watch that. I personally always prefer to watch long form. I only follow and watch channels where there's long form content of between 30 minutes and an hour and a half. Why? Because just, just a preference, you know. Um, I like to sit down, put it on the the monitor and just lay back and watch it. So I pulled out that segment yesterday with the, uh, I was standing in pretty much the exact spot, the segment when the toy uh, was, was snatched by a cheeky horse from the kid's pocket. Um, it wasn't really anyone's fault at the end of the day because the toy um, that was in the girl's pocket, I didn't, I, I, mean, I personally didn't think it was, you know, it wasn't obviously there intentionally and she had no idea that the horse might well decide, hey, you know, uh, I want to have a munch of the toy. Did so, you know. Uh, the mum probably didn't even realise it, it was hanging out, but that horse was very inquisitive, went straight for the toy and took it. So that's why I took out that segment and posted it. It was in the main long video, but that was a very long video of yesterday, about 100... And, I think, it was, no, it wasn't 100 minutes, actually. It was about an hour and 15, I think, roughly. About 75, 80 minutes. So I pulled it out and reposted it, and it seems a lot of you like that. So what I'm wondering, guys, is... Should I perhaps post a highlight from what happens in each video? No, no, cool. ignore me, guys. Thanks for asking. Don't worry about me. <laughs> uh, well, I should post it like a, a snippet, a sort of a, a highlight, or you know, one of the most interesting pieces as, as a short form, uh, and then post the full longer video in the day. I'm still wondering, guys. Don't forget, I'm no expert at this. You know, much as the channel is 
is, is popular um, and I'm thankful for for the fact that you guys do like to watch. I'm not an expert, so I'm really wondering about which is the best thing. I mean, the numbers are very healthy, so clearly a lot of you do like to watch the long form and listen to me you know, talking about what I'm seeing here and what's going on and laughing and joking and stuff. Uh, but obviously, if I could, I would prefer to keep you all happy. So what do we think, folks? If you could really sort of get into a discussion about, you know, whether or not to have a shorter video and then a longer one, or, you know, parts one and two, as I've been doing, both long. Like, what, what's the preference, folks? If there's some sort of, you know, consensus, then I'll happily go with, you know, a majority decision. If, on the other hand, you're sort of split, some of you are saying, leave it as it is, others of you are saying, you know, a, a short one and a long one, you know, we'll, we'll take it from there. But now I've got a couple of weeks off for the first time in, well, I mean, first time since last, let me think, going back to when. I really started here properly around March, April, it's been months my first you know, few weeks off in months um, I, I will still be posting videos I've got a lot of archived content uh, I've also got and it's never ever been published that uh, extraordinary live that's almost exactly uh, it's almost exactly the anniversary of that live that extraordinary live when, the, when Karen in Verde Commerce turned up that's never been posted anywhere and the reason it's never been posted in full uh, is that I haven't had time to watch it. I will do that ASAP because it's over... Get ready for it, folks. That live, one live, no breaks, six hours long, okay? I cannot understand how I managed to film non-stop, no breaks, for six hours. But I did. Um, and I think I will split that into three equal parts uh, and pop that up at some point soon because that live not only deserves to be kind of available for posterity but and I think this is the absolute key it probably has a lot of little gems in it that even I haven't seen because even though I put, pulled out the highlights in those Karen videos she was here for hours that day so I think I will pull pull that out completely uh, check it for copyright with music and stuff uh, and then maybe chop it into three or four parts maybe four 90 minute parts would be a good thing because in those early lives going back April May, June, before the King's Troop arrived, uh, I was still very much a novice, you know, I've got no, no problem admitting that here, in terms of the way things really worked, but that sort of that innocence, uh, in some respects, is something I miss, so I was sort of wandering around a bit clueless, I knew none of the terminology, uh, and I, I got so much wrong, in fact I was, I'm sure, speaking far less in those early videos than in, in the most recent. So I will probably, uh, in the next week or so, sit down and really edit those into four pieces, a little four-part series. Not only I think is that the longest live that I ever did here in one single take, but as mentioned, it's never been published before anywhere. Only a few segments of it have been published. And I'm also wondering just how many familiar faces we'll see going back to, I think it was April, that live, March or April, how many familiar faces we'll see uh, Ministry of Defence Police, guards, horses. I wonder how many of the horses we will recognise. I dare say we'll uh, we'll see a fair bit in those early videos of uh, of glorious Quasi, uh, who sadly is no longer with us, ladies and gents. This, uh, I just noticed this horse seems to be listening to me, looking at me, listening to me really intently for some time. And he's like, dude, that's a good idea, bro. I really miss Quasi myself. He was a top boy. Yeah, so that's kind of kind of the plan going forward. I might intersperse it. It's just massive. Somebody bought a massive banana, look. What is that? Look, a massive floppy gold banana. I wonder where she got that from. That looks to, looks to me like Winter Wonderland. Is that from, is it from Winter Wonderland? <laughs> I, I see a lot of people leave these on the streets because they're too, too hard, no? Okay, so she won a massive gold banana at Winter Wonderland, but it's raining a little bit. It's got got a bit wet. Here are her kids coming up now for the pictures. She's like, if you want it, I'll give it to you. <laughs> gold banana. Very thoughtful, but I don't need a gold banana. Oh, that was close. That was very close. This guy in the background almost walked into him. Oh god, we've got some other clown here with a super loud PA system on my right. Look, 
And why, why does he need to do that? Maybe turn it down though, so instead of it being on 200, turn the volume down to a normal level. Even the police are looking, it's like, dude, seriously, get a grip, turn it down. Unbelievable, eh? Oh. <laughs> a little smile there from the card. He's like, don't be shaky with me, son, to the horse. I'm not a tourist. I mean, like, seriously, why is he that loud? I really want to go and say something, but I don't want to embarrass him in front of his entire group. But that's just, yeah, I'm going to walk to the other end. That's just annoying and stupid. Way, way, way overdoing it. Okay, back at this end, everybody. <laughs> it's so tough to decide whether to spend a little bit of time inside because we did see that classic moment, didn't we? Um, earlier on, the naughty Aussies. The thing is, we're losing the light rapidly. It is remarkably, folks, it's just after half past 11. So it's still very early, but it feels like it's a murky, mushy afternoon. It's not actually pouring with rain, but at the same time, it's not actually a nice day either. Uh, it's very much in the middle. People are sort of milling around. Look, there is a decent flow, despite the very, very gloomy nature of the tunnel. Exceptionally gloomy, actually, looking back. Sport Horse Guards Parade, yeah, a lot of people are just like, you know what? Umbrellas out. And I think, actually, that one of you, or two of you, have mentioned, could I show the sign on the wall more clearly? And I will gladly do that in just a moment. Right now, somebody's looking at it. With your umbrella. Once they've read it, uh, I will go and put it in this video for you. The sign that says the Queen's Guard. Oh, he scared them then when he stomped. He's already done his rounds, so he won't be coming back out again for a little while. Uh, as this will be my last time here in many weeks, uh, here in the yard anyway. Potentially many, many weeks, depending on whether they find something. Uh, I will get a very clear bit of footage of this sign. Let's have a look. So the Queen's Lifeguard, it says on the wall. Uh, let me read it out, guys. Uh, the Queen's Lifeguard is provided by soldiers of the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment stationed at Hyde Park Barracks. They stand guard at the site of the original gateway to the Royal Palaces. The guard's been mounted here for over 300 years. The guard is, for uh, sorry, is found... Sorry, I thought it was formed. The guard is found from soldiers of the lifeguards who wear red tunics and white helmet plumes and soldiers from the Blues and Royals who wear dark blue tunics and red helmet plumes. They alternate daily at a formal guard change which takes place each morning at 11 a.m. Monday to Saturday and 10 a.m. on Sunday. This sign is out of date in many respects. It doesn't matter, it's old, but it's clearly inaccurate in many respects. At 4 p.m. every day, an officer inspects the guard on what is called the 4 o'clock parade. Okay. The Queen's lifeguard consists of either a long or short guard. The long guard is commanded by an officer accompanied by a warrant officer or staff corporal carrying the standard. A corporal of horse, a junior non-commissioned officer, 10 troops and a trumpeter. The strength of a short guard is a corporal of horse, a lance corporal of horse or lance corporal and 10 troopers. A long guard occurs only when Her Majesty the Queen is in London. To find out more, etc., etc., visit the museum. Okay, first time I've actually read the whole thing out. I'm also going to take a picture of it, uh, which I will pop onto the Instagram. Not because it's all accurate. Some of it, as I mentioned, is not accurate anymore. Not least, of course, uh, the title, it now being the King's Lifeguard. There we go. Just taking a picture of it. 
I will now go back to the front in a minute uh, and decide whether or not we're going to have a part two for today. Right now we'll enjoy it being inside with happy tourists uh, around the arch. But yeah, we'll pop that image up so you can see it on my Instagram of, uh, of exactly what it says. That actually is a perfect thing, that board, uh, to put on Instagram because it really does explain, and I think that's the key thing, the difference between a long guard uh, and a regular short guard. I don't think anyone's going to be uh, doing an Aussie. Oh. <laughs> uh, bro got scared. It's from the US. Don't worry, chap, it wasn't personal. They do that all the time. You, you, look, you were just like, whoa. <laughs> No, uh, they, they like people from the US, I promise, okay? They really do. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> pretty, pretty sweet. The big lad there got, uh, got scared with the guard's stomp. Uh, they were just about to run off. I wanted to tell them not to take it personally. He's pretty sure. <laughs> Very different to yesterday, guys, isn't it? The yard was deserted most of yesterday. Probably the rain is uh, actually starting to fall now. It was a little bit droppy before. Okay, here's the lady. So part of the got shouted at. That. Well, he didn't get shouted at. I mean, the guard stomped and he thought he was going to get shouted at. I think that was the great fear, actually, that. Uh, that the guard was shout and at the end of the day, nobody wants to uh, you know ideally become a YouTube meme ideally that is Union flag bags well done guys it's for the tourist economy anyway she got a picture in the end so it, uh, <laughs> it finished well I do also think and this is not me being some kind of you know elderly complainer not that I'm elderly anyway um, I don't personally think that bikes should be allowed through here I really don't but hey again who am I just, just a personal opinion ban bikes ban PA systems and I'm also starting to think in fact if if, uh, if the army hired somebody to enforce a no tourist group bigger than 10 rule unless there's a surcharge they'd make so much money though Where's this guy going? Oh, I thought he was going to walk straight in. <laughs> he stopped. I actually thought it was maybe a trooper, off-duty trooper, that was going to walk in. Look, he's really craning it. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Curious. Oh, more of uh, the French is here with the umbrella. Now the thing is, will she make the guards smile? I'm getting massive deja vu now. If this were a certain other lifeguard trooper that we know with blue eyes, he would definitely be uh, be smiling. <laughs> Cute. Are they going to make him smile? He only speaks French, ladies. Yeah, yeah. He needed to say, uh, he didn't Jadot. understand. Yeah, he didn't understand. He only speaks French, these guards. Ah, it's English. <laughs> no, he's not, he's not English, he's French, I swear. I think he's not like... Oh, he, no, he likes you, I promise. Okay, here's her friend. Frenchies. I actually wondered briefly if it was Spanish. But no, there's a Quenchies. <laughs> Fashion show. Yep, they did it. C'est super. Jump in, Hulse, jump in. Ah, they're just trying hard not to laugh. That was actually pretty funny, to be honest. Um, they got a bit close, yes, but... 
many of the uh, many of the old lifeguards have told me stories about how it was in the old days. Uh, ladies putting their numbers in the boots, etc. <laughs> blowing kisses, passing on messages via friends and so on. It's you know, it's kind of cute, I guess. Uh, I probably wouldn't have the same attitude if it were you know, guys trying to make a joke or make him laugh. But hey, you know, um, they didn't overstep the mark. Is what I'm trying to say. Cheeky, yes, but hey. Not in a bad way. And uh, this guard, to his credit, he absolutely kept a poker face. He did not even get close to breaking into a smile. Completely stone faced, uh, despite the fact that he could, uh, could definitely have had his first ever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever, I just say it. His first ever menage. There we are. I threw it out. She looked very disappointed actually when uh, he probably heard her say to me, Oh, he, he doesn't like me. But no, they did. I wasn't convincing enough. Uh, we're telling them that the <laughs> guard only speaks French, that he's English. I mean, no. I go back to the front, but not for long. So many funny things in there today, honestly. Yeah. French girls like going like this. Wow, like this. Other wary visitor. So many happy people here today. I think, actually, guys, that if the weather picks up a bit. Um, there will be a part two. I can't promise. Uh, as I mentioned, the forecast for the entire day is, in fact, remarkably, folks, with the closure from tomorrow. Um, the forecast for the entire week, from this morning all the way through until Thursday evening, is rain. So they really couldn't have timed it better, otherwise, to, to close this place down uh, for the renovation work in the yard. <laughs> So from horse guards, guys, <laughs> I'm reluctant to say it, uh, but yeah, um, this might well be the final video this side of Christmas uh, from horse guards. Let's see if there's a part two. Let's see what, how, it, how it goes. Um, I'm going to go and grab a coffee and decide, based on if it's still raining or not afterward, uh, whether we'll have a part two. If we do, I'll be back very soon. If not, there'll be more to come, guys, um, as you well know. So from horse guards for now, open up people and enjoy your Sunday.